I think there's a danger when your jobs in colleges can become quite cyclical. We always talk about change and pace of change. And on a micro level, we feel that, um, that change all the time. We feel we're in a fast paced environment, everything's different. But if you zoom out of it, there's been an educational establishment um, where Havering Sixth Form College is since 1938. There's been an incorporated sixth form college there since 1993. Um, and the actu so the actual kind of large, that large scale change has actually been, I think, quite, quite little, quite almost non-existent. So I find um, in, in academic jobs um, that you get into a cyclical thing where you're, you know, you're enrolling, then you're inducting, then you're um, bringing st onboarding staff, you're onboarding students, you're teaching, you're learning, you're measuring the quality, and then you've got outcomes, then it's all again, you're going again. And um, that, that kind of, there's a fast pace to that thing, mm -hmm. but actually there's also repetitive, repetitiveness to that cycle. So for me, it was about thinking, um, trying to think beyond that and whether that could be different for me and for the college. I started to think about things that um, had a bigger syst systems impact than just going around that kind of cycle that I've previously described. Now, I can't honestly hand on the heart say one of those Thursdays I had a moment, do you know what I mean, when, yes. when I said, well, you know, the system's for me or I'm for the system. This program, the things we did on this thing um, were different, but they weren't, weren't a paradigm shift from other stuff that's, that, no. that we'd also done. Because one of the things I wanted to uh, ask you was, it, I, and now I'm wondering whether it did happen to you, but you know, after that first session, and this, there was some heavy stuff in, uh, yeah, in yeah. the material yeah. of these sessions. Yeah, yeah. How, how did you feel at the end of those, that first session? I mean, what was your reaction? I was knackered. You know, it's the whole, you know, we're used to, um, you know, it's a bit of a stereotype, isn't it? But we're used to running in and out of meetings and telling people what to do and kind of thinking we're all action things and sitting in quite a bleak room with quite bad coffee. Do you know, for a whole day, yeah, we, we, is, is, is tiring. I was very taken with the um, primary purpose, primary risk stuff that we did. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I'm, I haven't, um, my memory of that may not be what it was actually was, yeah, but my learning from that was that my, most organisations spend a lot of time busily doing stuff that, you know, if an alien came down and looked at, they'd, they'd see that that stuff wasn't achieving, wasn't, wasn't taking them in a direction that they thought it should, you know, it was, it was kind of not aligned with their primary purpose, not aligned with their mission, it was work um, for other purposes and doing other things. So that, that actually gathered quite a few bit of legs in, in the college in terms of reframing how we focused on stuff. And it's kind of, in a sense, it's quite boring stuff about um, realigning systems and KPIs so that they were all like, we're all pointing in the right direction. But I, I, think, I think that might be minimising a bit because it was really about, um, it was really about, um, I don't know, in, 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 in a world of scarcer resources, making sure that our activities were, were kind of um, doing what we needed them to do for our students and our community. And um, yeah, I, I think we found quite a lot of things were kind of off off piste or off our primary, off our primary purpose. You know, my understanding is that um, my observations were that people in the room shared some quite um, difficult stuff, and that they felt able to do that. And and um, that's quite unusual for um, senior leaders in certainly in this sector. And I'm assuming that that um, helped them in their work and being authentic at work and thinking about approaches at work. After being at Havering Sixth Form College for three or four years, I suddenly realised that um, there was a big vulnerability because um, when you get a job in running a college, you tend to think you can solve every problem and sort out the vision, the mission, everything will flow from that and the college will get better. When in reality, if you stay in a college for a long time, what often happens is you go up and down and you ebb and flow and stuff happens and um, you start having to admit that some of your previously fantastic ideas were uh, at best life expired right. and at worst were stupid. So, 
So there's a whole thing, isn't there, about um, about trying to um, be honest about that where you can. I suppose work out how much cultural capital you have. You can't be you can't be revealing every problem that you don't know the answer. No. But you can manage that, and I think I'm okay with demonstrating vulnerability um, when there are complex or adaptive problems that need addressing. I'm trying to promote myself, aren't I, as a reflective leader, sort of saying that this was part of a journey. It wasn't the first no. or last time no. that I've engaged in something to make me more, more reflective. So I'm going to stick with that and say, look, um, it's part of um, a continual commitment to supporting me in my leadership, all right? But I'll go back to the point I said already, what, what I have done, and I've noticed it, and it coincides with that time, is I've um, stepped in and done more, more stuff that has impacted on the system. And I think I've got a maybe um, a sense of purpose around um, impacting on things that are beyond your own authority and having a confidence to um, engage with that sort of system stuff a bit more. So I think that aligns with when, when I did this series of Thursdays.